What's up, everybody? Before we jump into the video, a couple quick announcements regarding the Community Gallery. It's live right now on my website, brayhandsicker.com slash community. The link is in the description. Definitely head over there after the video and check out the work of these very talented 50 photographers. And in case you missed my post about it on Instagram, what I'm going to be doing is showcasing these 50 this week and then the following week another 50 and then the third week one last set of 50 for a total of 150 photographers over the course of three weeks and if you didn't get work in this time around do not worry about it i will be doing this project again because there was a lot of unexpected interest in it i was expecting to get like 25 50 submissions total and i ended up getting 150 from people all over the world in less than a week it was absolutely incredible thank you to all who participated and now jumping into this week's video I had a super fun time doing a solo backpacking trip up into the mountains of Washington, a place called Summit Lake. I brought my Pentax 6x7, some Portra 400, some Ektar 100, and I caught one of the most incredible sunsets I've ever seen. Hope you guys enjoy the video and the photos. <laughs> Almost up to the trailhead. Got first view of Mount Rainier right there. It's looking beautiful. First junction. We're heading left to Summit Lake. If you go right, it leads to a point called Bearhead, big peak that overlooks the surrounding valleys. break all the clouds are moving out of the way Mount Rainier is about to be fully exposed for sunset so I'm gonna hike the ridge with the Pentax set up shop up there for a little bit and hopefully get some some really nice pictures of the mountain before I head up I'm gonna grab a picture of the mountain from down here this wallet is somewhat visible uh, we're gonna do f11 at 1 2 50th about a half stop overexposed just to get some of the detail down here um, where there's shadows covering the lake. Perfect. All right, let's head up. This is a bit crazy. Oh my gosh. It like shouldn't be real. It doesn't seem real. I ended up shooting on my digital camera as well just because there were so many beautiful scenes to capture. I wanted to make sure that I covered all of my bases. 
On this particular composition, the difference in the shadows and the highlights was incredibly harsh and I actually like the digital images more just because I was able to pull out more color saturation. The film scans, for whatever reason, um, I, mean, I tried to balance out the metering but um, the highlights were extremely washed out and I like how the digital image was able to retain some of that blue tonality in the sky. Just finished the first roll of Portra 400. I mean, it's unbelievable up here. I'm gonna load up another roll port. Yeah, do another roll Portra. Probably could shoot Ektar, but I'm just gonna shoot Portra and make the shots count. down below the mountain. Thus, the journey back down begins. Hopefully it's not too bad. My legs are like not working though, so. Could be interesting, but yeah, I stayed up way longer than I expected, just because I had no idea that it was like that up there. Like, oh, do I have to shoot this? Yep, I have to shoot it. All right, well, just mirrored up on accident, so it's obviously gonna be a banger, uh, but yeah, I gotta shoot this ASAP before I lose all the light. I shot a few more digital images on my way back down to my campsite. A similar composition to the previous digital photos, but this time the sun was completely set, so I had that beautiful nighttime sky glowing down on Summit Lake and Mount Rainier.
So overall, this was a super fun trip and I was definitely able to make some solid images. Uh, a lot of the film photos actually ended up not turning out just because I still, I still struggle with this, you know, idea that I can just shoot anything and everything because I'm shooting on film. There were a couple scenes that just had such harsh mixed lighting, um, you know, like six stops difference between the highlights and shadows. And I was like, oh, I'll balance it out and tweak it in post. But a lot of the times the highlights just ended up being way too washed out. and I couldn't retain any color saturation. So um, a lot of the photos didn't end up turning out. And something that I'm still working on getting better at is, you know, looking at something with my own two, two eyes and really considering whether or not it's worth shooting a film image of this subject, whether or not it's the composition, whether or not it's the lighting. Um, you know, I really want to focus on making my film images count, um, but I want to find a balance between, you know, shooting enough film uh, to make sure that I get the image I want to get. And then also, you know, not just thinking that I can shoot anything and, and wasting film images on, on scenes that just shouldn't be shot in the first place. So um, definitely, you know, a, another learning experience for me throughout this video, but uh, either way, I had a ton of fun and the images that did turn out, I'm super happy with. Got a couple of my favorites, re recent favorite images out of this trip. So super stoked on that. And then one last friendly reminder, Community Gallery live right now on my website. Link in the description. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there. And I'll catch you next week. Peace. I love setting up my camera, walking 50 feet, and then going back to get my camera.